Doing another quick video update on my DIY self-build new aquaponics system journey. As you can see, this is my, uh, I've said before, this is the first of, I know for sure, five that I'm going to build of these. And as you can see, here are the tubs. I'll have two tubs right here in the middle these two smaller tubs and the two bigger tubs on the outside i'm going to build a pre-filter box that'll sit right here and as the water comes up from the reservoir from the fish tank that sits below here the cut in half ibc tote it'll come through the the water will come through the pre-filter and uh, the, the the uh the good bacteria that will be in that pre-filter, filter media, will convert the nitrate to nitrites for the plants to eat. Then there'll be a uh, there'll be a, a tube going to each of these, which will be four grow beds, and I'll have a bell siphon in each one. So this is going to be a flood and drain system, you know. I'm, I'm thinking about doing a deep water culture on the next one. We'll see if you guys don't know what that is. Uh, please look it up. Um, and uh, this is just another way you can grow a lot of food in a small space using technology. And all of this is going to be powered by solar. The pump, there'll be one pump powering each one of these. Just one small pump. And uh, that'll be powered by a solar power generator. So... It'll be all off grid and aquaponics is great because not only is it less work once you get done with the system, um, it conserves 90% water. All I have to do is top off the fish reservoir tank. Uh, that'll go under here. I'm going to be growing bluegill, uh, catfish and bass. That's going to be my fish. I'm going to be producing along with the food. I'll grow vegetables. I'll grow in the uh, the uh, grow beds here. Another quick update. That's all.